Jesus, that's one hell of an intro. Hey guys, my name is Dan Rock, and welcome back to Enjoyable Fan Games, where in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at Super Smash Bros. Crusade, because I was in a fighting game kind of mood, and it turns out that there are a bunch of Super Smash Bros. fan games, so I figured I'd add them to the list. Now, this one comes highly recommended by a couple friends of mine, so I figured I would try it out, see how it is. And, um, it's, it's pretty good. I mean, the introduction was no lie. It's a very flashy game and very in your face. And I think that that works for it because Super Smash Brothers has always been a very party-esque in your face fighting game as opposed to a super duper serious one. Uh, Melee is a tournament fighting game I'm aware now as I think it was used in Evo. However, Smash 4, Brawl, the first one, there have always been sort of more party fighting games. Fighting games that anyone can pick up and play, even like your grandmother or someone. And Smash Crusade does a fantastic fantastic job of recapturing that spirit on a PC. Now the first thing you'll probably notice if you're anything like me is how big the roster is. It is gigantic and it includes characters that aren't quite in Super Smash Bros. yet such as PD Piranha, um, Ryu was in there I think before Ryu was actually in Smash 4. Of course you got like Shadow and Tails. Um, one of my favorites is Phoenix Wright because who hasn't wanted to get a bat and just beat the shit out of Super Mario as Phoenix Wright? There's one thing this fan game has that Real Smash doesn't, and that's, uh, combos, and oh, it feels good stacking them up. I've been playing lots of Marvel vs. Capcom, and I love combos. So, yeah, uh, combos in this game are super duper awesome. Also, um, from what I've gathered, there's no real final smashes. Characters can just kind of throw their own final smashes whenever their alt bar at the bottom kind of fills up, which is a little bit different. It's a little bit more like a traditional fighting game. Um, I don't think it really le levels the field as much as the Smash Ball, but it's still an interesting take on things. There's also some brand new stages to the series, such as Casino Night Zone, which you're seeing here, and a couple remade series stages, such as uh, the Temple from Melee, which is based off the Temple from Zelda, which also appeared in Smash 4 and Brawl. That's, that's like a really recurring uh, stage. Quite honestly, I find it interesting that it appears in so many games that now it's just infecting fan games too, but I love the stage. It's so much fun, and it's built pretty damn well. Even in this fan game, it feels good selecting Kirby, going to Temple, and beating the ever-living shit out of Tingle using Kirby in Temple. Though quite honestly, my new favorite character in Smash Crusade has to be Ashley, because she is freaking powerful if you know how to use her. Damn, she is, she's bad, she's, she's bad, and I mean that in a good way. And because this fan game is very much still in production, you could see new characters popping up at any time. I personally would like to see Sheik, because I love Sheik in Smash Brothers. And, oh, um, if, if you're taking requests, Corrin, please, Corrin, please, please, Corrin. She's, she's my main. I slay as Corrin. And hey, if you get bored of Smash Crusade, you can always go into the options menu and bind all of the keys to one key. That way you can figure out that you did something wrong and not know how to fix it because you're like me and you're a fucking idiot. But anyways, that's pretty much all I can say about Smash Crusade. It's damn good. And it even has an online multiplayer that I plan on playing with in the future. So I'll leave the Game Jolt link in the description down below if anyone wants to go download it and try it out. I highly recommend it. It's, it's pretty good. So uh, anyways, this has been Dan of Dan Rock Productions, and thank you very much for watching this episode of Enjoyable Fan Games. Peace out and take care. The winner is... Ashley! It feels good selecting Kirby, going to Temple, and beating the ever-living shit out of Tingle using Kirby in Temple. That was a tongue twister, and that took me way too many takes!